Splinter Cell Conviction. I've got a conviction to play in this game and recording it and then put yeah, that was terrible. I'm going to start again. Hey everyone, welcome to Splinter Cell Conviction. I'm going to be playing it uh, cuz Blacklist is coming out soon and I kind of had a hankering to play Conviction again cuz it's been a while and I'm a big fan of the Splinter Cell series. So I'm just going to jump in. And I'm going to say now, okay? I've played this game a lot. So, even though it's been a while, I probably have a good memory of it. Just to prove that I've played it quite a bit, let's look at my achievements. Look at all those achievements. I got all of them, because I'm awesome. Or, I have nothing to do. So, I'm going to be playing it, and we're going to have fun times. And I'm going to be talking over- the game's been out for so long, I'm talking over cutscenes, okay? Because there are always people that are like, stop talking over the cutscenes, I want to hear the intriguing plot. Well, guess what? The plot really isn't all that interesting in this game. So, deal with it. So we're gonna start, we're gonna play on normal, because I don't want to get my ass kicked, because it's been a while. I also don't want to be a pussy, so I'm gonna just middle ground it. Okay, hope we're okay with that. Now the thing about Conviction is that when it came out, it was honestly one of my most anticipated games of the year. I was so looking forward to it, the direction it was taking seemed so exciting and cool. I always do, Sam. And for some reason, I Grimm's a redhead, do. and I don't know this person. She was a brunette in every other game. This is just weird. But Splinter Cell, I love this series. I've loved this series ever since the first game, and I've played all the games since then. Chaos Theory, I did a Let's Play of it a while ago. I love that game. That game is one of my favorite games ever. Conviction, I was really excited when it was coming out. It looked like a really cool, action-y direction. And I was excited. And then I got it, and I played it, and I liked it. It's just not... It's just not as good. It's one of the weaker games, I think. It's still very good, don't get me wrong. But I, I don't know, I just, you know... Splinter Cell was always about being stealthy. And you weren't a one-man army. You had to use stealth to your advantage. You had to be quiet and sneak. Stealth action. This game changed the direction to make it more appealing to an action game. So instead of sneaking around, you know, avoiding detection and maybe taking out the occasional guy, you are quietly murdering everyone in the room as fast as you possibly can. So, it, I like it. And Blacklist seems to be expanding upon it, and I watched a stealth playthrough at PAX East, and it didn't look awkward and weird, which this game kind of does sometimes. Like, this game is not a stealth game, really. Like, you are, you are encouraged to shoot everyone in the head. And that's fine, but it's not what I'm looking for in Splinter Cell, if you get my meaning. But still, I like it. It's in Malta. So I'm going to play it. It's also like five hours long, which was like half the length of any other games in the series, which was very disappointing. But still, let's play it. Sam's getting Bluetooth because we're in the future. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit. Also, graphically, it looks fine. It doesn't even look as good as Double Agent, in my opinion. Maybe not even Chaos Theory. I think those games look better than this. But yeah, I'm going to stop ragging on it. I'm playing it. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't enjoy it. So I'm going to play it. And we're going to have fun. And we're going to kill people. And action. And espionage. Intrigue. Terrorists. I got nothing else. Let's see how this goes. All right. Look up. Look up. All right, there we go. Then I can take it back up to safe. Grim's daughter got a three kill streak, so she's got a UAV. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on in your position. Don't tell me how to live my life, at, Grim. You're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Sam didn't even order any food. Just like the old days. I don't think he has the carbs necessary to pull this off. Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there's civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. It's a really so right good, right clear, now, you, like, signal out of this Bluetooth headset. Whenever I've used Bluetooth headsets, they suck. But maybe that's just me. Now let's get you a Granted, I don't use Bluetooth headsets because I don't like walking around looking like a douche. I'm there. Along, um, I'm going as fast. I'm going fast than the tutorial wants me to go. Let's. Come on, Grim. I got people to kill. Blow the lights. Do it. Put me in darkness. 
Make me feel comfortable with myself. Because I'm emo. Flashback. Ah, uh, Sarah, you're this... You're a really well-developed character in every other game. Oh, wait. No, you're not. I don't really care about you. Last of Us did it better. <laughs> Alright, Sarah. I'm a secret agent that kills for a living. You need to stop being a little puss. Okay. We talked about this. Don't make me have to beat you again with the belt. That's wrong in every way possible. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Except monsters. Monsters are always in the dark. They're coming for you. I hate to, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there's there's monsters under your bed right now, sweetie. Do you have anything in here to defend yourself? Like a bat or something? <gasps> She's got a soccer ball! Let's kick, can I kick it? Does it got physics? It does have physics! Yeah! Woo! Alright, all I need are some of those horns, whatever they're called. I'm gonna insert some horns. Alright, I'm gonna ins I'm gonna insert some horns on this while I kick the soccer ball around, alright? Ready? Go. I can't. The the camera doesn't want me to. I can't get the soccer ball. So no horns. Never mind. Now you gotta stop being a sissy light, and grow up. You can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really? Now that doesn't make any sense. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. Unless they have a flashlight. Can you please turn the light back on? Or you have okay. a giant pair of goggles on your head that glows all the time. That would really probably cool give you away. But that's stupid. Me. Who would do that? There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things. Tutorial in the form of teaching your daughter how to deal with the darkness like by explaining to her that mom. you've killed a ton of people without actually mom. telling her. If there were Good parenting. Standing underneath it, because I can see it. Maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's what I tell myself all the time. When I shoot a chandelier or something and it drops on a bad guy and his spine bends at a 90 degree angle in the wrong direction, I just tell myself that he's not bad anymore. There you go, Sam. That's not emotionally manipulative at all. Show yourself, asshole. Here I am. Fuck you! Peekaboo. Come on, buddy. You don't wanna fight me? Nope. I don't wanna fight you, I wanna shoot you in the face. I think Come there's on, yep. Show yourself, fuckface. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Look at that. What you that got, worked man? out pretty well. The thing about days. Sarah is that you in the first game, could, you heard her voice and you saw her in like a cutscene. Like yeah, she was always yeah. there in the background, but it wasn't explicit. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm going to hit this button, the kill button, which will probably make me stop and negotiate with you and ask you to leave my house because you're trespassing. Or it'll do that, which is kind of the same thing. And then you got your friends here. All right. Hi. I'm Sam Fisher. I have the innate ability to slow down time and look badass while doing it. This is really cool, actually. This is a really cool scene. Hold on. Mark him. I'll protect my family when I damn well feel like it. I gotta pose. In fact, let's put some badass music over this. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit this button and protect my family. With murder. Well, that went well. There's nothing that could possibly make this scene awkward. Dad, oh. what did you do? Well, sweetie, uh, they were trespassing, and so I popped a cap in their asses. What are you doing? Sam, talk to me. You know the brain, Sarah? Sam. You know the brain? Sam. Well, I made it there? stop working Come with on. bullets. Don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. I'm not that worried about the reinforcements. Uh, I think... I'm gonna. Uh, here's the thing about this game is that Sam is so overpowered. He is a one-man killing machine. He can't. Be, he's he kills more people than the Terminator has across all the movies. It's just it's kind of ridiculous to a degree. I'm just gonna snap your neck and see. Boom, boom. I can't be stopped. 
And once I get to a weapon stash and get all the, the weapons that I've unlocked because I've beaten this game a thousand times, which is basically a pistol with a scope on it, then I can't, I'm, I'm never... I'm never going to be outgunned because I am Sam Fisher. And Sam Fisher in this game is God. Which kind of goes against what I loved about the series. But, you know, I can deal with it. I just wish... I, chaos Theory, man. Fucking Chaos Theory. How good was that game? So good. Hey, buddy. You like Chaos Theory? Well, I bet you like Metal Gear. Whoever likes Metal Gear is stupid. That, I'm kidding. I love Metal Gear, okay? Just calm down. It's a different type of game. The hell is he hiding anyway? All right, let's mark you two. No. Yep, you two. It's got to be somewhere around here. Then let's do this. Sweet moves. And yeah, I got shot a couple times, but I'm Sam Fisher. I'm wearing a sweet sweat sweater. What am I wearing? What do you call this thing? Green shirt or whatever. I don't know, whatever it is, it's badass as hell. Looks stylish. I want one. Probably wouldn't fit. It'd probably be tight on me. I can't pull it off nearly as much as Sam. I'm just gonna stand here, and then I'm gonna stand here and hit the kick your ass button. Looking for me, asshole. Well, you found me. Oh, sweet action. Shots, drama. There's still one in the clip, but that still looked kinda cool. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Now, the thing about conviction is that there are these scenes where you can interrogate a guy. Although, like, they look badass until you realize that they're all the same. Where he asks, Sam asks him a question. He says, fuck off, I'm not going to tell you anything. Then you punch him in the face. He tells you something, and this repeats three times. So, uh, you can either just punch him or there's interactive stuff. So, let's, let's do this in order. All right, first you got, first number one. Let's all, let's go number one together. And hit B, and hopefully it triggers. Yep. Yep. Mm. Porcelain to your face. All right, sir. Now you're gonna tell me what you wanna wanna know. Okay, enough. I'll do some sweet camera work what while this goes Sandy? on. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Thanks. Good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Don't. Please. Man, you probably should have just told me what I wanted to tell me, because now we're going to go number two together, and it's really awkward when you have two guys hanging out in a stall. Especially when there's one guy in there hanging out, like, with... surprise! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, mean, I, I don't like being interrupted when I'm pooping either. I, that's really awkward, I'm sorry. I to hit your daughter. You used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired uh -oh. me to, to kill you before you killed him. I'm going to have to kill him. You should fund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh, it killed me. Yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> nope. You probably should have just told me some, because now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ask you to wash your hands, sir. Violently. Yeah. And then you're good. Three times. The rule of three. Video game rule of three. You ask him three questions. You beat him three times. He tells you three things. And that's kind of how this goes. And on the sides. Oh, and for those of you that may be confused, oh, in Double Agent, Sam's daughter, who was always a background character, like you kind of see her in the first game a little bit, then she's mentioned in passing in every other game. Uh, at the beginning of Don't Double Agent, you find out that she was killed by a drunk driver, and this sends I Sam into a spiraling depression, and he's drinking and, and punching mirrors, because that's what you do when you have angst. And he just, like, went off the rails, so then... The, the agency turned him into a cup undercover agent because he was going nuts and they used it as his cover. Which but pretty much was to start Hey and that was check it out. The plot in this game is so predictable and doesn't tank any chances. So I'm gonna give you a guess what actually happened to Sarah. Without telling you, the game will tell you in about fifteen minutes. But we'll see. No matter what. And hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys are having fun watching me play this. Because I'm going to record this part. I'm going to record this mission. And then I'm going to stop recording once I'm done with this mission. And if you guys like this, then you let me know. And I will continue. I will put out one or two parts of this a week until it's done. I'll try and finish it before Blacklist. Uh, there will be long parts. But hopefully that's Vandalism Sam. I don't appreciate it. But with any luck, you guys will enjoy this. 
and I'll have a reason to record something that's not Call of Duty. Because, gotta be honest with you, a little sick of it. Let's peek under this door. Oh my god, look at all the completely innocent civilians. Let's just, let's just keep going. Now, I'm gonna tear through this game. Uh, I will be killing a lot of people with bullets in the face. Because that's how this game is designed. So let me just hop this wall, and then kill him by seemingly lightly throwing him to the ground. But hey, Sam is using first-grade bully tactics, and they're effective. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him. Let me just then grab you, hey buddy. Let me snap that, snap, crack, a pop. Yeah, man. It, the thing, I, I like this game, and when I played it, when I watched, uh, like, promotions for this game, trailers and gameplay, this, like, that Mark and Execute system looked really cool and didn't seem like it would get old. And it kind of, it kind of doesn't, but after a while, you just get into a rhythm where you're just like, okay, it, every room becomes a combat puzzle, where you're just like, all right, let me, uh, let me uh, grab this guy and earn an Execute, and then kill him, and... Then, alright, let's, how many people are in this room? Uh, I can't, I can't see another guy. So I'm just gonna do this. And, <laughs> lights out. <laughs> <laughs> puns. M murder puns. And then let me... Now I've got an execute. Whoop. There's that guy. And he's probably... Oh, no, he's not going to come around the corner. All right, let me just then... If he would stop moving for a second. Well, he's not going to. He's just going to make everything hard for me. Or not. No, let me... Let me mark him. Let me mark him. I can mark him. All right. There's two guys left. I'm going to kill him. Kill him with violence and murder. Hip. Stealth roll. Hip. Oh, man. God damn it. I'm trying to stealth roll. He keeps sticking to walls. No, I don't want to do that. Come on, man. I'm right. Wait, you smoking a cigarette? Your friends just died. That's what you get for being an inconsiderate jerk face. Alright. I could execute him, but why waste it? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can easily get another execute within seconds, but, you know. Oh! 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 Oh, yeah! That's how it's done! Mmm! I mean, I kicked you in the nuts, and then I seemingly lightly tapped you in the head, but that was enough. Because I'm Sam Fisher, and when I lightly tap you, it's like a giant flicking an ant. Kills shit. Fuck glass! I don't even care. <laughs> what do you think? Some glass? Some cuts? And some infections are going to stop me? Because, nah. Right, so I've got all these guns unlocked. If you're using anything but the 5.7, you're stupid, because it gives you four marks, so you can execute four people in one shot. All of these other weapons, pointless. They are absolutely pointless. But because I have a silent shotgun, and that's badass, I just like having it on my back. But it really doesn't serve much of a purpose, really. More marks mean better. Stealth throw. Stealth throw. Stealth throw. Uh... Nope, not, nope, not covered. Stealth roll. Alright, let's just climb this. And we got this bad guy down here, and now he's not breathing. Pay attention. Boom, 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 boom. And then I think I can hit this from here. And then run forward! Pop! 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 And that is how you clear a room, except I think there's one guy still alive, if I remember correctly. He's on the balcony. Right? Yep, there he is. Now let's get my execute back. Jesus. Holy shit. That's an appropriate what reaction. The fuck happened? Uh, a I I don't know what happened, but I have to assume it has something to do with the yeah, holes that are now here. in their house, in their fucking stuff. heads. Coben you should. Wants to see you. Well, I want to see Coben too, and we're gonna get acquainted in a minute. It, shit. Oh, okay, he has a really short attention span. <laughs> that was just rude. You hit him, you kick him in the nuts. He's incapacitated, but then you just right in the dome. You can go fuck. All right, let's just... Going downstairs, 
going upstairs, going upstairs, downstairs. God, I screwed it up. Never mind. I. There's a lot of bad people. Ah, run to this. I wonder what you're supposed to do with this pole. Let me just climb and boom, boom, boom. Hey, guys, I want to call you guys Rice Krispies. Do you know why I want to call you guys Rice Krispies? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's not because y'all look like cereal. Snap! Crackle! Pop! Motherfuckers! That was so goddamn lame. You know what? I'm white, and I'm from the suburbs, so... I'm allowed to say shit like that, okay? If anyone else says it, you kick them. You kick them as hard as you can, because they need to learn. But I have a YouTube channel, which means I'm better than everybody. All right, let me just turn off this light. No, no, Sam, uh, it's not quite what I wanted you to do. Well, this is awkward. This is real. Man, that guy could see me real easily if he just looked up at about a two-degree angle. He probably noticed the guy hanging from the ceiling. Apparently not, though. All right, now turn off the light. I'm sorry, you were saying something about me dead? Because I'm still alive. It's weird. I'm breathing. I feel pretty good. I'm like 60, but I can climb like Spider-Man. Yeah, I'll find you, too. I'll, I bet my bolts will find you at their targets. Pop, pop, and boom. See what I mean? How this is so not Splinter Cell. <laughs> I understand updating the formula for, like, a new generation of action and adventure, but I don't know. I've, I'll always prefer the old games. Except Pandora Tomorrow. I like Pandora Tomorrow, but Pandora Tomorrow was frustratingly difficult. It was, like, the first Splinter Cell had a lot of trial and error, but the second one was just unfair. But it had the train level, which was awesome. Here you go. Uh, I'm sorry, I disrupted a cat's nap. No, no, you don't see anything. No, no. Well, this is unfortunate. And your friend is really inattentive. And now that happened. And now I'm gonna awkwardly throw you out this window. Or, oh, uh, okay, that's just, all right. Well, I put you in a precarious situation, sir. You got really good balance, though. Working on your glutes? Hmm. I get it. My daughter's dead. Stop projecting it on walls. Sam, stop projecting. It's not healthy to project this much. All right. Enjoy the flight. <laughs> nice one, Sam. That was pretty good. That was uh, so original. All right, let's mark some people. Look, boss, let's let's just take a chill pill. I think Coben is gooked out of his mind, so I'm going to throw this in there. Window. Ah, I didn't get the other guy, but you know what? Still kicking some ass. Whoop! Gotta clear the room so I can get to Coben. And I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. I don't have any more executes, but I bet I'll get one in the next, ah, uh, let's say five seconds, give or take. Two guys left. And maybe I don't need an execute. Pop! There's that guy down. And that guy is, uh... He's looking all in the wrong direction. So, I... Now, there's not a guarantee hit from here, and I don't want to be uncool, so... Accuracy is... Accuracy is just as important as KD, man. Okay, Coben, you're just breaking glass. You're just being irresponsible. Someone could cut themselves. See this guy right here? He could cut himself. He doesn't have to worry about it anymore, because he kind of doesn't have a face, but you're just being a jerk. Come on, come on, Coben. Come on, Coben. Come, come, come on. Come on, come on, Coben. Come on, turn around. Turn around, Coben. Come at me, bro! And we're good. Were you saying something Did you install these guy? dramatic lights that change oh, the second no. I grab you? Because yeah, that must be you, expensive. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Uh, calling my daughter a whore? That was just <laughs> funny times? That was a joke? Her. Well, I don't I think it's very funny. You. All you can do is kill me. 
Well, that's inaccurate, Coben. I could do a lot more than just kill you. See this piano over here? I'm gonna play you Ass Beat Symphony Number no. 5. A little something like this. I'm still working on it, but it'll be on Broadway soon. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. May isn't good enough. So this is what this game teaches you, you, children. For? I can't if you're talking you. to someone and they're not being straight with you, if they're being deceptive, just beat the shit out of them for a little bit, and they'll tell you whatever you want. All right, so I can't leave this zone. Like, this light area, I can't leave it, so... Oh, man, you ruined the floor. Someone's got to have to come in and repair that. You suck, Coben. So the piano already did. So I guess, ah, countertop works. Hey, face meat counter. That wasn't nearly as impactful as I was hoping it would be. Although I gotta choke you. There's a helicopter coming and dramatic cameras. Hmm. Ah, must be nothing. Uh, what, Coben, what are you doing? What are you doing, Coben? Where are you gonna go? What are you doing? You silly goose. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. That's... You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you. They're bigger than me! 8.5, baby. I wonder who gets that. Don't you see? They told me you were coming! What? What a twist! <gasps> it was... Splinter Cells the whole time. If only this wasn't in every trailer for the game ever. The hell I do. Please. To trust me on this one. They're She's got a good track nice record. Fisher. She's kind of been really good to you she for like four games, so I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt on this one. In. What took you so fucking long? Move, Traffic. Nice and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk One. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. I love code names. Right, I want a code name. Someone you give me a code name. One. Right now. Best if code name. Setup. Oh, he holds a gangster style, that's still badass. I wonder if they teach you that in the CIA or NSA or wherever they work for. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and we'll end with a falcon kick while Sam goes to bed. Will Sam make it out of this? Probably.